Hey guys, what's happening? Happy 4th of July weekend. So, on the 4th of July, I did a 600mm uh, 35k speed test on the uh, Celerius printer here. But, um, I wanted to try it on my other printer, my uh, Orsinus, or Orca printer. Um, so, um, I made this printer probably uh, maybe 6 or 8 months ago. Um, some of the unique features, like I said, are the quad le bed leveling. You know, I can level them four points with the belt mounts here. Um, but this actually one's, I mean, I'm mean, running some pretty good hardware on this one, so... Um, I don't think it's going to be an issue running 600mm, 35k. I don't think I've actually, I haven't pushed it that hard yet, but... Um, let me show you some of the things where I, I think it won't have an issue. Um, so right now I'm running... Um, LDO, LDO Super Power HT stepper motors. I don't know if you can see that. Those were like, I uh, came out pretty expensive. They were like, I came out I spent like 30 or 40 bucks, I can't remember. Um, yeah, but I machined these really large heat sinks so I could really step up the current. Um, it is, it is, it is, it's not all wheel drive or it's not four motors. Like the uh, celery is back there or celery toss. Um, that's four drive motors and a really light gantry. So this thing was designed from speed. I mean, that's when I designed and built this one that was it's only four speed. Or this is kind of like one of my main functional printers I use. Um, but if all the printers ever I've ever worked on, this is the because of the quad point bed leveling. This is the flattest I've ever gotten a bed. Like by bed mesh is I've never seen a bed mesh so flat. Um, but it's running a uh, this is I, mean, I designed this thing 100% from scratch. So there's not one copy part from anybody. So it's a Core XY and running the H H G or HGX Lite extruder system with a NEMA 14 round motor. And I can't remember if this is who this is from or it's Fly or I, some, I'll put a link down below all this stuff. But um, this is actually a tool head board. So originally I had a CAN bus board. But let me turn it over and I'll show you the, uh, the electronics. I mean, I'm in our build series about this printer. So I'm running a uh, Big Tree Tech Microprobe and a Volcano heater block. So I'm running a uh, 480 watt. I mean it's 600 watt. Can't remember if it's 680 watt. I know it's pretty pretty beefy. Um, it's a 30 amp uh, 24 volt power supply. Um, then I'm running basically a large MOSFET for the bed. So what makes this thing really rock is is this right here. Um, are these large capacitor um, Big Tree Tech uh, 5160 pluses? So they're external drivers, but they have those really large capacitors. And I think there's like eight MOSFETs or six or eight MOSFETs. So it's designed to handle high voltage and high current. Even though I'm not running at high voltage, I'm just running them at like uh, 24 volts. But and then uh, the main board is a MKS Monster 8. Um, did a review about this one, but I, I do actually think the Big Tree Tech Octopus is better, uh, just because you have more options. What you can do with the the, the, the what's it called, the Big Tree Tech or Octopus, is you can uh, have a separate input for drivers, so you can run. You can actually either run your your voltage off the your stepper voltage, either off the main input supply, which is 24 volts, or you can have a second power supply, like 48 volts, and you can choose with jumpers what voltage you're going to use. So I think you have more options with the... Like, if I had to do this all over again, I'd probably do the Octopus. Which I probably still do, just because you have more options. But it's not that big of an issue for me, because I'm running the external drivers. So I just run the power in there. Um, Alright, and then I'm running a Raspberry Pi 4. With the 7-inch, the official 7-inch touchscreen. Alright, um, and this is like an upgraded fan cover I did here. Just because the other fan was so stupid noisy. And it was horrible, so... Um, all right, this, this way we'll get started. Oh, here's another, I don't know if you can see that, but it's uh, Speedy, or no, Speedy Power HT. I thought they were the Super Power HT. Speedy Power HT, so I think, I'm assuming um, HT is high temperature. All right, so here's a better look at the heat sink that I machined a while back. But yeah, this will just draw this heat up. So, away from the motor. All right, so I'm gonna get this ready for a speed run here. So I'm gonna do, eh, I guess I'll do 230. 
Um, I mean, the other one was a Bowden tube. This this one's a Bowden setup. Um, but this is direct drive, so I can probably get away with a little bit lower temperature. All right, so yeah, it's it's kind of hit or miss. I mean, I don't know, you know. I mean, this thing was like I said designed from speed from the get go. That's why everything is like there's nothing on the tool head, and it's Bowden. Um, I mean, obviously I have a lot more weight here because I have this extruder and this NEMA 14 motor up here and all this extra stuff, fans and cooling ducts and, you know, I know you can do this with three motors, tri-point bed leveling, but I just thought it'd be fun to do it with four. Um, I mean, why? I mean, it, it's, I mean, oh yeah, by the way, it's, uh, it's the ball socket. <laughs> if you haven't seen my other videos, so I designed this little ball socket thing on the bed. So it's just a, it's a metal ball. And the socket just slides in there, and I have it pressed up tight against there. And so far, it's been really reliable. Um, you know, keeps the bed in place. And I can pivot in all these different directions, and it's it's been pretty reliable. And I said, I just got to slide over the pivot, and it stays in there. So, uh, all right, quad gantry level. So this was a modified version of the uh, um, Veron, Voron, Veron. Um, their quad gantry level. I still gotta actually mess with it. I gotta create a little spacer here for the micro probe. It's still a little too tight. I made a video about the uh, how those things fail. I've actually had a lot of those micro probes fail. Not just me either, too. The other printers I've had to fix. It's a little too tight right now, so I gotta modify that. But it just goes through, and I can usually get it in a couple passes. I don't know if you saw that, but you could, it, 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 will, it will control each individual motor and adjust it. The same way, uh, you know, like I said, a Veron, a Veron, um, adjusts the whole, the gantry, where this thing just um, tilts the bed. All right, well, let's see what's happening here. This is the fastest I've ever pushed this printer, so. I don't think it's going to break, but I don't know. I'm guessing if something did break, one of the belts would pull out, out of my belt latch system here. Um, I mean, it's in there pretty good, though. So, I, I think, to me, that would be the weak point, is this, the belt latch. But even though it's, it's crazy tight, but... Yeah, the fan is, uh, what's it called, a 4020? Blair fan? Still gotta optimize the because the, the the volcano is off to one side. It's not perfectly centered, so I had to redesign. It. It's annoying that they didn't put it directly centered. Very weird. So it throws my like the what's it called? It throws it. You have to create an asymmetrical fan duct. All right, so it's gonna kick up to 35k and 600 millimeter right now. Yeah, this thing's not even being phased. I mean, it's moving my whole thing around, but... Like my whole Matco toolbox thing around these things around. Yeah, this thing's not even being phased. Yeah, those motors, those LDU motors are gnarly. Well, in my last video I said I was talking a lot about capacitors. And I really think those large capacitors help on heavy accelerations. You know, like a power droop. So, what I was going to do is add some uh, larger capacitors. I was going to actually solder in some capacitors on the, directly on the drivers. On my TMC 2240s. Um... Because I was actually last night I was looking at the schematics of all the boards and stuff, and see how they actually and where they put them, where they put the capacitors in. Um, actually, I think I need to go into my. Um, this doesn't seem like it's going fast enough. Thirty-five k six hundred millimeter. 
like the, the movements. I think I, I forgot to uh, increase it in the clipper configuration. So let me cancel this try that again. Um, in my clipper configuration, my max acceleration was 3,000. So I, mean, I could tell it wasn't moving fast. I mean, it was moving fast, but it wasn't moving as fast as I thought it should. So, I mean, compared to like, how fast I saw it moving with this Solaritas. Alright, it's getting ready to finish up the first layer. I think I'm going to hold this printer. I don't know what it's going to do. I don't want to fall off this toolbox. I mean, this... That's 35k, 600 millimeter. I mean, it's shaking more. God, this thing's not even being phased though. He thinks they're a little bit warm. Motor are warm. Not too warm. I mean, the motor, I mean, that's what the, the pull point of the large heat thing is to draw heat. I just noticed the actual part cooling fan wasn't on. And that's not going to affect, affect the speed of how it's moving. I can tell by the quality. It looks like the fan wasn't going, the main cooling, part cooling fan. This, this is a... Alright, so I had to stop the print just because the fan was not working. But I know it was commanded to, um, Let's see, do fan. Uh, so when did the fan stop working, man? I don't know. I gotta just make sure I'm getting voltage up here. So it could either be a frayed wire um, or the fan just gone out or a loose wire. So, all right, so I'm getting voltage. So this is actually a speed test video, not a repair test video. <laughs> all right, yeah, maybe I'll edit that out, maybe. All right, so yeah, I gotta redo the fan. If you guys are actually watching this video, you're probably used to 3D printing by now. And you're going to realize that 3D printers break all the time. you got to fix stuff all the time. That's the culprit right there. So I'm just going to solder that wire back on there. This is actually really, really common for some reason. On these, uh, they, they, they break off the PCB. I right, got it going again. We'll do a, another test. Yeah, I, didn't, I wanted to kind of give a... Alright, so I think my travel, travel speed was off. I switched my travel speed to 30, 35,000. All right, let's All right. get ready for the first layer. Let's see what happens here. Yeah, so it's definitely moving faster. Oh, took the game off the printer. Okay, yeah. I lost a T-nut somewhere. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Alright, so this makes more sense now. But still, and this thing's not even being phased. So, one of the things I did when I designed this these are pivoting feet, so I was thinking on hard accelerations if it moved around the frame, there's like little ball pivots inside these feet. Yeah, it's definitely a lot quieter than the Solari toss, but you know, in small parts like this, you're, just, you're not going to get the max velocity. So I need to do like long, flat, straight parts, you know, like long runs for it to get to full acceleration. Now, this is a pretty stout frame. 
I got 20 40s on each corner, and I got extra 20 20s here on each rail. I got a 20 20 support rail on the back here, one obviously one on the top. So what I might do is maybe put some more support rails from here to here, close the corners. But so I know it was the exact same settings as it's Larry Toss. So I'll read the Larry Toss. Um, <clears throat> Because they had the exact same print time. I mean, I don't expect great quality at the speeds, but all right. So I know it can hang. I mean, I, I tell you the truth, I don't think it would, it would hardly even face the printer. Like I could, I could definitely push it a lot faster than that. So. All right, cool. So if it's the first time you guys have ever seen this printer, I haven't uploaded it yet. Um, I do have a GitHub page, but I've, I've uploaded the boat of its Maximus to the GitHub page. But I gotta start uploading these printers if you guys want to play with them. All right, guys, cool. Having fun.